How's everybody doing today? I've been working on our grill this afternoon. I got it all took apart there. The inside's just all the bare parts pretty much, uh, if you can see. Anyway, um, what I took out basically was, uh, well, these pieces over here. That's the uh, burner, or the burner goat. Well, let me do this, if it'll do it. But the burner goes under this plate and then the grill part goes over it and then that is the um, the tower for it so took all that apart and then um, what else is it here this plate here is just like a cast iron plate that, go, that the burner uh, that actually goes above the burner then it's that other plate but uh, the old burners here uh, if I can get the light going good it's kind of hard since I'm back lit or whatever but anyway that's the old burner um, got the new burner here which don't really matter but there's the new one just right here and that's the valve we got uh, the old valve um, and that's just like a little piece to go over the valve to keep um, I think bugs and stuff from getting inside the uh, burner and then I got the new valve here so it's basically replacing like I said yesterday the valves or the valve the burner and there's one other part. Oh, the hose to the uh, gas line. This right here. Uh, which, the other one was probably okay, but, I mean, since we were replacing everything, we might as well place, replace it all. And I also do have this little matchstick holder for uh, when you're lighting it. I'm going to put it on. The old one, the uh, little spring on the bottom had broke, so it would never hold a uh, match anymore. So, anyway, I'm... Uh, just in the middle of this trying to get everything working but uh, we're going to save that burner because really I mean I could probably just reuse it I could take it apart and clean it it gets all rusted because it's cast iron but we went ahead and bought all the parts um, that we were able to um, just to basically make it like a new uh, grill so uh, you know 100 I think it was like 160 something dollars um, but really part of it was uh, or twenty seven dollars of it was the cost of shipping they kind of burned us on that I, but there wasn't any other option it was just flat twenty seven dollars so uh, but it was here in like two days so they probably sent it overnight or whatever um, but anyway that uh, that's the retro wheels same that's on there now um, but this inside on the other ones the center line has uh, cracked and come open so I went ahead and ordered two what they called retro wheels because of the sidewall, the white sidewall. Anyway, but that's what I'm doing. I just come home from church and started messing with this. And uh, I'm gonna, now that I got it all tore down, I'm going to start putting it back together. I had to, the bottom of that was so rusted that, um, like, inside of the, uh, I'll show you. Like, all up in here, um, like, all this stuff was just rusted, the whole bottom was. So I went ahead and uh, took a little flat scraper and scraped all the old rust out and trash that was in there and uh, got it all clean as clean as I'm gonna do it and so I'll uh, like I said put it back together and uh, probably light it and make sure it's working good and let it burn for a while because I have had to spray some stuff in it just to make sure and screws and things come out so just working on that so I'll let you go I'm gonna get finished here and uh, hope you had a good day and I'll see you tomorrow